Okay, so here we are about to uh, join more of these fragments together. Uh, it was a tedious process preparing the pieces to be joined. Uh, a tremendous amount of time had to be spent with the removal of historic bonding material, which was an extremely hard cement. And so the next step is going to be to join four fragments together. They're all kind of interlocked and keyed together. So they are all going to be put in um, kind of sequentially at the same time. And uh, we're going to use an extremely strong stone epoxy, a material that didn't exist a hundred years ago uh, or 120 years ago when they uh, originally uh, restored this stone when the church was reconstructed. The process will be to uh, disassemble the pieces that are now dry fit together and then apply the stone epoxy after it's mixed and ready to uh, apply and, um, and then join the pieces together and then clamp the ledger tablet from um, both directions in, in some way so we get as tight of a joint everywhere as we can. Uh, depending on the temperature and, and humidity and other conditions, uh, epoxies always will have a varying range of curing time. Uh, it's really favorable conditions today, about 75 degrees, so it'll cure in a couple hours. It'll get tacky in about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, so after we complete the joining of the stone, then the last step of the process is going to be infilling the loss along the joints. And we're going to do that with a custom formulated color matching mortar that's going to be uh, very carefully uh, applied and filled in to um, try to match the uh, stone and blend it in so it'll have as much of its original uh, appearance as possible. So after the conservation is completed, there's going to be a time period when the ledger stone, the Knight's ledger stone, is ready uh, to be displayed. And so once the uh, process is completed of the archaeology and uh, the actual uh, proper resting place of this ledger stone is determined, uh, a new pedestal will be built, uh, most likely out of historic brick, although that is a planning process that is still underway. And then um, in the very end of the process, this will be brought back in to the church and reinstalled um, with, I would assume, great fanfare, and everyone will be very happy when it makes it back to its final uh, resting place.